Сейчас я включаю свой передатчик. Толя, можно закрывать люк? After one of our EVAs, Mission Control in Moscow discovered that our first hatch, the outside hatch, didn't close completely. There was a leak. It doesn't hold air. Pavel was inside doing, you know, going through all the checklists and coming up with ideas. We're talking with him the whole time. This is all in Russian. And now some hours are going by and we're getting low on resources and uh, we realize that our suits are going to run out. And really we're kind of out of ideas. We were very strict about controlling the air pressure. So if anything was leaking at all, we'd use the backup hatch. Now, you can use the next module in as a, a backup airlock. It's something we do train for, and uh, we're going to have to use it now. It's kind of small. And the first thing you have to do to get into that module is disconnect your umbilical. Well, we were living on that umbilical. And once we disconnected, really you're down to your last minute. So you have maybe five or 10 minutes. And what I didn't expect, neither of us did, as soon as we disconnected our umbilicals, the temperature started skyrocketing in the suits. Vitaly, I don't see you. I too. And in my second breath or so, the whole faceplate fogged up. And I would spit uh, to get a little window view of where we're moving to move to the backup airlock. And this is where the Russian training is really good. They place you under heat stress situations in various training modules. And you learn your limits, and you extend your limits, and you learn how to deal with thermal stress, how far you can really go. We did manage to get into the backup airlock, kind of wriggle in, get it closed. And it turns out that several weeks before the spacewalk, I had used this airlock as a sleeping quarters. And a picture of my wife-to-be, which I kept with me on the mission, was passed right in front of that, that little window. It was so hot in those suits at this point, but we didn't have time to repressurize. We had to get back on a set of umbilicals in the backup airlock. These are big, heavy umbilicals. We're bunched together. Neither of us could reach or connect our own umbilical. I was able to hook his because I could get a view of him. He was able to hook mine up. I remember the pressure getting up to the level where I knew I could just ditch the suit and survive. And we made it. We literally saved each other's lives.